Hi, my name is Joanna. I am from Ocado and I'm the product manager here. Today, I would like to show you the setup for our HR uh, integrations. As you can see, we offer a variety of softwares to integrate with, but the general setting up of the configurations to generate documents is pretty much the same for each one. Today's example, I would like to show you the Personio setup. For this to start off, you would obviously want to connect your Personio account with your Avocado account, which I've already done. So I'll just jump into the configuration setup. Now, each configuration can be kind of thought of thought as each template. So here you can see I've already done a setup of a um, uh, configuration with the employment contract, but you can do, you know, you can do also multiple configurations to the same template if there would be a use case for that. Or you can think of amendments, terminations, um, some form collections, terms of service or whatever you would need to do or whatever you would need to do, you can do uh, the configuration as you please. To start off, well, you would be pressing create new, but I'll just show you the setup I've already done. Uh, you would be, uh, to start off, you would be selecting your template, which you can see I've selected here already. Then you can set your configuration name, which either would be set as the document name, but as in Avocado, we also offer the automatic name uh, support, which I'll show you a bit later then uh, really it would just be the name of the configuration. Now here is the first place we see things from Personio. Uh, here's the selection of fields which you can pull in. These are the default fields that Personio just has and offers. And here you can find all the custom fields you've created inside the, inside the software. And here you can you know, select these select fields which you want to use in the following steps just to make it a bit more easier, manageable, and so on. Then you also have the activation uh, possibility, meaning if you are setting up a configuration and you don't want people to use it just yet, you would put it as, you know, draft status. But once it's ready to be used in other places, so uh, in uh, automatic generation or in uh, document generation, then you would have it as active. Here you can see the fields uh, mapping stage, which is kind of the main part of the whole thing. Uh, here are the fields from Personio, all uh, mapped already. But here's the selection, as I said before, you can tick on tick and here you can find them and also search them for an easier experience. And any field you have in Personio, you can pull it in. And in here, this side, you have the fields from the template. Now here it's rather moderate. There's not a lot of fields. Uh, this is consciously done because then we can show it to you a bit easier, quicker, but as many fields as comes to your minds when you have, if you're thinking about your employment contract, then all of them can be added or made, seen here and mapped against the fields in Personia. So really endless possibilities. Then we have a couple of automatic things set up. Firstly is the automatic creation of the document. So as you saw the field mappings, the idea is that the data will be pulled in from Personio and filled in in the contract, meaning you do not have to step in anywhere. Now, let's say you want automatically to create a contract each time a new person is added, then this is the trigger for it. Every time a person is a uh, person's or employee's card is created, it would trigger the document creation with the set fields, with the set collaborators in Avocado, you know, ready to go forward. And here is the option to have uh, webhooks. This is for people who want to build their own UI and, you know, have things behind it. Then we also have push triggers. So not only pulling in data, but pushing out data. Uh, so we support the sending of the contract once it's in done status to your kind of software of choice into the folder you choose in the version you would like. So is it signed, unsigned or zip file, which includes both signed and the unsigned file. And moving forward from here, we have the sharing tab, which essentially is the setting of the collaborative roles inside the document. So to think of it in a more practical way, if you have a CEO who always has to sign, you can have them already existing in Avocado. They're always added as a signer. The employee you've just you know, added into your software, 
you can pull them in, uh, create the person account, and also add them as a signer automatically done. And the same goes for, you know, the manager of the employee. And really, you can add as many users from Avocado as you please. And again, to think like either you want them to edit as well, because you know if they have to add something or the manager has to approve or they has to sign or maybe the CEO has to approve as well. So everything that's needed. And then you can also set the owner of the document. It can be the member of a uh, member of a workspace. So let's say it's someone in uh, the HR team who manages the contracts and brings them through the workflow and, you know, get stuff done. Then it can be that person. It can be the document creator itself. So whoever triggers the creation via the configuration will be set as the owner of the document, or it can be the manager. So the manager of the employee in persona can be pulled in. Whatever is your company policy, you can set it up and have it done. Once you're done, you can press save. And to start uh, the creation of a document, there are different ways as well, but today I'll show, it, show you one from this view only. Here, you can, uh, you need to paste in the ID code of the employee. So for this, I would jump into the software, in this case, Personio. Uh, in the URL, you can find the code. Then you would paste it here. And if you are setting up the configuration, I recommend using the preview function where you can generate the preview of the document. Just see what are the data points? Did you map everything correctly? Does it all look good? But I did, even you wouldn't need it when you're day-to-day -day using, because then you can just click on, you can paste the code here, click on create this document, and the document with the fields, which you can already see, okay, filled in here, filled in here, so on, will be created. As I did create, or map rather, uh, less fields than may be uh, possible, or, you know, uh, then it's, it's rather halfway done. But as I said, depending on your use case, depending on your setup, you can do as you please. So it's minimal work for you. And here, just to check into the questionnaire, you can also see our questionnaire format. Here is the manager pulled in. Here is the employee and their ID code, start working date and so on, some other fields that are filled. And here is the automatic name, which I mentioned before. So this is a formula set uh, prior uh, where you can, you know, based on your company policy, set the formula, they're automatically named. You don't have to think about it. And here you can see the collaborators, which we talked about before, the approver, who's the uh, manager, you know, uh, the employee, who's the signer, the CEO, who's the signer as well and you know i as the owner and essentially that's how you have it it's done it's drafted it's ready to go you can you know push it forward to approving to signing just to quickly show i'll mark it as done as that's the status it ends up in after you've done your processes and that's the moment it lands back in here automatically so i set it to be in this uh this place and as you can see the documents have been pulled in. I pulled in once more today, so they're doubled, but essentially that's 